my friends. Uh, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, I am here with my family today, and we are going to talk to you today about how to set up an altar for your Holy Week devotions. Uh, as you might recall, this upcoming Sunday is Palm Sunday, and uh, one of the things that's been hardest uh, for us as a community is that we haven't been able to gather in church together. And so I would like to invite you uh, to join us in uh, making an altar as a focal point in your home, and, uh, and we will... Um, uh, we will show you how we're going to do that, and you can take some ideas about this. Uh, we, you can take some of our suggestions, and then uh, we will uh, then we'll invite you to share your home altar photos on the St. James uh, uh, Facebook page. So the first thing uh, that we will show you that you might notice is that we are we have our our. This is uh, just a place in the middle of our house. This is our, uh, this is just near our staircase here. It's a place that's accessible to everyone in the family. And uh, we, have our, we have our cross here, uh, which we have veiled in purple. Uh, purple, of course, being the color of Lent. And uh, this, this uh, veiling uh, serves a dual purpose of holy reverence, but it also serves the purpose of um, uh, kind of uh, letting you know that there's a surprise that's in store uh, after the, uh, the third day. And so, so we have veiled our cross here. We have a couple of candles. And uh, we're going to set up a Lenten altar first. And then we're going to show you how to transition that to uh, an Easter altar uh, when the time comes. desk um, you don't have to uh, have one of these at home you can just get a cushion or something so that you can uh, kneel in front of your altar and this is a nice place for you to gather uh, during Holy Week or Easter um, on Maundy Thursday uh, you can strip your altar and you can have it uh, be bare uh, just with the cross on it um, and uh, and then when it comes time for Easter, you can decorate it again um, and and make it a festive place, uh, which can be the central focus of your worship as a family. Uh, you can put a, a Bible uh, or a copy of the Book of Common Prayer, um, and this can be just a place for a quiet reflection uh, for the whole family. Uh, and so. Um, the okay, final okay. touch is also that we want, when you transition it from the Lenten altar to uh, the Easter altar, you want to make sure uh, that you have symbols of the resurrection. And so I will, um, I, we have this beautiful crucifix here, which we will have up, uh, you know, during Holy Week. And, um, and Ori, bring me that, that picture there by the fireplace. Okay, be my We'll be replacing that with our uh, image uh, of, of Matthias Grunewald's resurrection here from the Eisenheim altarpiece that uh, you can see it better there. Um, that's Jesus rising from the grave. So we'll put that here. Um, uh, there when it comes time for Easter as a reminder of the resurrection. So. I hope that you've enjoyed this little uh, example of, of things that you can do at home, uh, and I hope that you will uh, join us um, in doing this and posting your, uh, your own home altars to uh, our St. James Episcopal Church LaGrange Facebook page. Yeah.